Eleanor and Parker has taught me to stay true to myself because I don't need to change to be loved and accepted by others. It has gotten me more into writing and more into music, which has helped me beyond words. And Rainbow, you're an amazing human being, and I love all the books you've written. I grew up in a pretty bubbled suburban society, so when reading about Eleanor's life, I feel like I became more aware and educated about the world around me. And I like to think that that's a good thing. To think somebody would try to prevent anyone from reading anything, especially Ellen Warren Park or anything Rainbow Rowell, irks me to my very core. I am a girl. I am a teen. I am a story. And a story wants to know other stories like it. Wants to know what Eleanor knows. That love is not confined to pretty. I am a story as are all high school students like me. As a non-American reader, it's important for me to read a book about American high school that doesn't include only proms and baseball and shows a more complex picture. Being only 15 years old, when I read Eleanor Park, I managed to finish the book in only a couple of days. And back at the time, that was a personal record for me. It's actually made some of my non-reading friends get into reading and I guess that says something about the book. When I first read it I was in a really dark place and it helped me overcome my own body issues. It's so important for anybody who's being bullied or abused or anyone who feels inadequate really and it's a timeless book. There are very few timeless books but I feel like Eleanor and Park is really one of them. Quiero dar las gracias un libro tan maravilloso como Eleanor y Park debe existir en cada biblioteca de La generación es que viene. Gracias. When I read it, I didn't feel like such a freak anymore. I didn't feel like an outsider because I had friends in fictional characters such as Eleanor and Park. And um, that made me feel as though I wasn't alone. And I think that's really important in a book um, to help you feel like you aren't lost anymore. Um, and that's what Eleanor and Park did for me. Hi, Rainbow. Hi, everyone. I just want to say thank you from Brazil for all the stories that you shared. Your books are amazing and you are a special person. You are making a difference. I want to thank you so much for writing this book and your other books. And it just, you really helped me get comfortable in my own skin. And I really hope I can meet you someday. Uh, so you have to come to Norway. I can't thank Rainbow Rowell enough for creating such a heartwarming and expressive novel. This book has changed my life. In this whole world that everybody is trying to be perfect, you made us feel that it's okay to be flawed, to be job, to love like it's the last day. I'm so, so happy I came across your book. Thank you very much. You are amazing. You are so amazing. Eleanor and Park taught me that my body could be loved. Thank you, Rainbow, for your amazing books. I really, really love you. Hi, Rainbow. A huge, huge fan of Eleanor and Park. I think one defining line would have to be the line where Park says that Eleanor didn't look nice. She looked like art. And art wasn't supposed to be nice. It was supposed to make you feel something. That one line made me realize what a different conception life and love could really have. And I'm... I'm just happy that I had a chance to read it. I could relate to your book in many ways and it taught me that I am beautiful. Hey Rainbow, I wanted to say thank you so much for Eleanor and Park. It's my number one most favorite book. It can never be dethroned. It's the first book that ever gave me a hangover. I couldn't read for weeks after. Um, these characters resonated so deeply with me uh, and I cannot wait for my girls to get older and so they can read it as well. Um, it literally is a life-changing book in so many ways, and I'm so grateful that I had a chance to read it. I can't wait to see what you do next, but in the meantime, thank you for all you've done.